Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Keystone Springdale Mini 1750 RD. This is an excellent lightweight couples coach coming in at just over 3,300 pounds. If you're looking for something to tow with maybe your SUV, this is a great one to take a look at. Let's start here up front, we'll make our way around and then head on in. So you have a 20 pound propane tank right here. Uh, that's great, you know, it has furnace on board that will also help power your uh, cooktop inside there. Right behind that, you have rails for your battery. And then coming up the front here is some black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. If you come around to the side, one of the things I love about this camper, besides the uh, awesome open inside, is how much storage you have on the outside. Take a look at this. You have a nice big pass-through right up here. Then we have more storage in the back we'll get to in just a second. You have an awning here. It's nice and easy to use. It's just a little turn awning. You have a tool you put right up there. You literally twist it and it rolls right out. It is super simple and easy to use. And honestly, it's just as fast, if not fast. There's a lot of power awnings that are out there. Uh, right here is your main entrance. You have a nice little grab handle there as well to help you get in. You'll see right up top, you have dual speakers. So if you wanna jam out to some music, you can certainly do that out here. And you have an electrical outlet outside here as well in case you need to plug anything in. I had talked a lot about the storage. Take a look at this. You have this nice side compartment right here. There's your tool for your stabilizer jacks, by the way. If you're new to RVing, this one does have uh, four stabilizer jacks built in, one on each corner. When you come around to the back, Right back here's your spare tire. This is mounted on the rear bumper. You know, hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, it's nice knowing that it comes with it and you are protected. Right here is a large rear picture window. We'll see this when we go inside. This is one of the things I love most about this floor plan. You have a huge U-shaped dinette right here, and this lets in a ton of natural light. And if you have a nice view from the back, maybe you are able to back up to lakefront or you know ocean view, something like that, you will certainly enjoy having that large window there. If you come around to the off door side, again, take a look at this storage. It's even bigger than what you have on the door side there. So huge storage all around the outside of this RV. Welcome to the inside of the 2018 Summerlin Mini 1750 RD. This particular model is in the vineyard interior. Let's start off on the kitchen right over here. So for being a small camper, you'll see this actually has really good prep space. You have this entire area right here, which is great right next to the sink there as well. Uh, single bowl sink, but in a camper this size, it's really all you need. It does have the high rise faucet there too, so it's easier to wash and rinse dishes. And then over to this side, you have the uh, double burner there. Now they did change the orientation a little bit, to, again, to help give you a little more prep space. Just make sure you're careful when cooking. Obviously, you don't wanna reach over this burner if it's on. Right back here, you have a window letting in some natural light during the day. At nighttime, you have LED lights in here. You actually have LED lights throughout the entire RV, which are great because they don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power. Electrical outlet here. So if you want a coffee maker, just go ahead and slap it right there. Toaster, electric griddle, whatever you want. Uh, it's a perfect place for your electrical outlet. Right underneath is your Norcold fridge freezer combo. I'll open this guy up for you so you can take a look here. Has a nice little drop down right there for your ice box. Uh, and again, you know, for this size camper, that will store plenty of food for you. Right here is your uh, entertainment center. This is what lets you play music. You saw the speakers outside. There's also speakers in here. Furnace right down below, nice and centralized. That'll do everything you need it to to uh, heat up the space. And because it is direct, it's honestly probably better than having it ducted throughout. Trust me, you'll be toasty when you need it. Two full extension drawers there. You can see that. So that way you have room not just for your silverware, but for all your other goodies, whether uh, you know that's spatulas, knives, whatever else you want to store in there. We take a quick look up top. Look at that. Nice big pantry storage going all the way across. They didn't put a style in the center, so if you have larger items, you're still able to fit those in there. Microwave here and a fully functional hood with both a light and a fan. And take a look at this. This is the main feature here in the camper. This is what I love about it. You have this huge rear shaped dinette. Obviously, if you have two people, it's a nice big table where you can enjoy your meals together, play games. But if you have guests, 
you know, you can easily sit four people around here, which is really cool. Uh, also, if those guests want to stay the night, even though it's only, you know, just a little over 17 and a half foot, you have a place for them to sleep as well. You can drop the table down here. You can, the table will sit right along those rails, fill it in with the cushions, and you have a secondary sleeping space where two adults can sleep at. Windows all the way around, not only for good ventilation, but also let in a ton of natural light. And as I said, we were outside, that does give you a good view out the back there. Electrical outlet right over to the side here. Uh, you know, so if you need to charge cell phones, tablets, laptops, whatever it may be, maybe you need to do some work, you can do that there. Another electrical outlet right over here, again, with the nice countertop. You'll see right up top you have your AC unit side mounted, so that helps keep this a little bit lower profile, which is nice because again, you'll most likely be towing this with, you know, mid-size SUV, probably not a three-quarter ton pickup. Then right under here, good extra storage, whether you want that, you know, for uh, movies or you want to put games in there, maybe extra food, you can use it for pantry, whatever you want, but it is nice additional storage. For TV, you'll see they did put a mounting bracket right here in the wall. TV connections then are right there on the ceiling. Another electrical outlet right down here. I do just want to point that out. You know, they have electrical outlets all over. So, you know, if you do need to find one, again, you have a lot of different spots in which you can find it. Right down here is your foot flush lever toilet. You see you have plenty of leg room all the way around. Nice storage there underneath your uh, sink top and vanity. Take a look at the countertop space. Now, and you have a lot in the kitchen. You have a lot of countertop space here in the bathroom as well. Electrical outlet there if you need to plug anything in. And you see the mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. Right up top is your vent to quickly help moisture escape. And over to the side is a tub shower in case you need to give, you know, grandkids or something a bath. And also you have a curved shower rod. Right up front is the bed. You'll see you have a nice big window there too to let in a lot of natural light. And then over at this end here, which is probably the foot of the bed naturally, uh, you know, you do have a nice little shelf there. If you travel with like a little dog or cat, it's a good spot for them to sleep. Or if you want to put your phones there, you can do that. You'll see not only do you have a standard electrical outlet, but also a USB port. So if you have a CPAP machine you need to bring with you, you can put that there and then just make this the head of the bed. Uh, however you want to uh, get in there and, you know, whatever orientation you desire. Right up top, you do have an extra shelf for anything that you want to store up there. And then over to this side here, you have some nice wardrobe storage, a place to hang some additional clothes. But all right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Summerlin Mini 1750RD. This one is in the vineyard interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.